be. Today, people gathered at the Lexington Cemetery to honor the men and women who gave their lives for our freedom. It really was a nice ceremony, and I talked with people there who say it's crucial. Those sacrifices don't go unnoticed, and that's the LEX 18 big story at 530. It's a solemn tune we've all heard before, but today we pay close attention to the meaning. They gave their service, gave up their life at home, and just went where they were called. 92-year-old Russell Huffman served in World War II. Today he remembers his comrades who never made it home. Their stories matter and should always be celebrated. This Memorial Day ceremony, the Lexington Cemetery, meant so much to veterans from all branches of service. When you look around and you see all these folks, maybe they've never served before, but they're taking the time and they're also paying their respects for the ultimate sacrifice these folks have paid. And for me, it just it is, makes it a little emotional and it's really, I do appreciate it having been served as well. Eric Young brought his kids and grandkids to make sure they understand that our freedom isn't free. It's important to teach the history, not only the military history, but this, it all, it's all of our history right here in a place like this. And if you can't take a time out once a year to teach the little ones, something so important, you know, what does that say about us? Young's grandkids each place pennies on some of the military graves to show the families that someone is thinking of their loved one and that the legacy lives on of those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Respect from um, people who, who died in the military on a war. The American Legion Man of War Post 8 helps put on that ceremony in Lexington each year.